Hi, I'm Jason. I'm Jillian. And we're from Roxbury Township, New Jersey. Jason and I met at Hillside Church. We both grew up there. We started dating after I graduated high school and dated about two and a half years and got married a year and a half later. Go get daddy. I would describe Jillian as creative, beautiful, obviously, a wonderful mother. Jason is very trustworthy, he's devoted, he's a great husband and father, and I love him. <laughs> Jason and Jillian have lived in this town their whole lives. They've been married for 12 years. Jason works in environmental remediation. Jillian is a family photographer. I love photographing children because it's really neat to watch them grow, especially repeat clients. You watch them from newborn, and as they grow up, to capture those milestones is really special. We have three children, two boys and one girl. Uh, Shane is six years old, Levi is four and a half, Ruby is 18 months. Ruby is our little princess, but she's quickly learning to be the boss of the house, loves to tell her little brothers what to do. Uh, Shane is a little on the shyer side, but he is really into sports and Legos. And Levi is very outgoing, and he loves to make new friends. Ready, go, go, go. Levi is a fun-loving five-year-old who has spina bifida, which leaves him paralyzed from the waist down. But that's not going to stop him. There is no quit in Levi Spencer. At first, we were very upset, obviously, to hear about what his life might be like. Uh, but he doesn't let his disability slow him down at all. <laughs> for what he lacks in strength in his legs, he is totally made up for uh, with strength in his upper body, and he can uh, walk on his hands, he can uh, flip himself over, and uh, loves to break dance. How about some cheese and crackers? Yeah! Levi has taught us a lot. It's just to take things day by day, and to be thankful for what you're given for, for that day. And I always say, if I could see the future, if I could see this now when I was pregnant with him, I never would have shed a tear because it's just amazing. He's an amazing kid and I wouldn't change anything about him. Okay, Levi, you ready for your shoes? The goal is to give Levi independence as he gets older. And in his current state, the Spencer home is not conducive to his unique physical needs. Well, our home is a ranch, so it is all on one level but our bathroom is very small. It's very narrow. Uh, Levi's wheelchair won't actually fit through the door right now, and right now he has a small wheelchair. Lifting him up is challenging in itself, and then he can't even wash his hands on his own. He can't transfer on his own. The dream bathroom space for Levi would be something uh, that's very accessible, wide and open. It would just uh, set the stage, I think, for him as he grows to be more independent and to gain the freedom that, you know, every parent wants for their child, no matter special needs or not. All right, surprise time. Surprise! Oh my gosh! Hi, what's up, Jillian? Jason! How you doing? It's George! Hey, Ruby, <laughs> how you doing? This is Levi. Oh, Say hi, buddy. Guy. How are you? You and I got similar hair. George got our house. I modeled my hair after you. Uh, George just knocked on our door, and I almost fell over. I couldn't believe it. I was totally in shock. You are Mr. About Town. Oh my! I've never goodness. seen. I don't think my kids move as much as you do. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad nothing holds you back. But I know there's some things in this house that are holding you guys back, and that's what I'm here to fix. Wow. So Thanks, uh, George. hey, come on. Nice to meet you, Jason. It's mm -hmm. surreal to see George in real life, to be like, you're here for us. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. What's great about this project is that it is truly a community effort. Our general contractor, John Keane, lives right down the street. And our designer, Brittany Ray, is one of Jillian's best friends. We're going to be demolishing not one, but two walls to create a brand new bathroom from scratch. With the way this house is laid out, there's got to be some structural issues we're looking at. There's a main beam that's actually below the ceiling that we want to try and flush up but we don't know because there's a major valley coming into it. 
The other main issue to make it ADA compliant is the shower pan sitting right over a main girder. You know John's a good contractor when he breaks out the lingo. In short, we're trying to hide the beam into the ceiling and build a new shower drain from scratch through the basement. I am nervous about the beam that's in the ceiling. I'm nervous about the slant in the floor that's going to the basement. All of those things are going to come into play, so how the team works together and figures it out is going to be an interesting process. Well, this project is riddled with questions, and the only way we're going to answer any of them is to start demo. So let's start taking these walls apart. We are going to get our demo on. We need to rip out their existing bathroom and then we need to create a bathroom where there never was one before. And uh, we're gonna have to rip out some walls to see how it's all put together. We got a tight bathroom here right now. I mean, just with me and Mike moving around in here, imagine what it must have been like for Levi and Mom and Dad. It's time to create a new bathroom for Levi. Throwing the trash in the dumpster, who do I see arrive but the Kukin Brother truck with all of our new building materials? So we got everything coming. So we got our drywall, we got our plywood, we got our framing, and our paint. Obviously, we don't want a header going through the ceiling of our bathroom, and right now that is the case. So, what Ken is here to see is if we open up the ceiling if there's room in the roof line to move that header up. As we extend that wall outward mm -hmm. to make the bathroom fit the sink, we need to be able to see if we can make that flush. I'd like George to uh, open up where the beam hits the outside wall. So if he can open that all up for me, I'll be able to pop my head up there and see how much space we have. Is that the valley right there? Yeah, the valley comes in right here. Probably cut these across here and be able to put a new beam right up in there. It looks good. I think. Uh, it's better news than I was hoping for. When you create a bathroom where one never existed, the person you're asking the most out of is your plumber. Helping us out, we got Bianco Diamond Plumbing, AKA BDP. Dominic and Thorne. We have to put a two inch drain in there and reconnect some heat loops. Oh, that's my worst nightmare. The main crux of this whole project is that Levi's new bathroom sits right above the crawl space. Who's going in? Could do is pull a uh, oh, zip old, tie, oh, the old oh. straw trick, and shortest guy goes in. Please don't let it be me. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I'm going in the crawl space. I'm getting into that dark, gloomy, cobweb-ridden. How far back am I going? Pretty far back. Awesome. It's low. The ceiling's low. The walls are coming in on me. George, we're going to lunch. I might need some, somebody to send me in a sandwich. I like a slice of pizza. I think it'll be really delicious under here. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3MDIY.com. I just can't even imagine how many eyeballs are looking at me right now. Any second now, something's gonna scurry over my head or crawl up my pant leg. Ah! 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 Get me out of there! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Levi, I only did that for you, buddy. So Brittany, we uh, we opened up some walls. We put in a, a nice little pocket door. Love it. John's been killing it. Demo day. John, you got so much done. This oh, is amazing. You. When we turned the closet into a bathroom for Levi, in order to make it big enough, we ended up taking a lot of space out of this extra bedroom. I don't know what to do with it now. I'm just betting that Brittany's got an ace up her sleeve. She knows exactly what we're going to do with this space. Jill has a side business. She does photography. What if we gave her a studio space? To turn the space into a photography studio for Jillian, it's a tremendous idea. I love it. She would just be like totally floored to have a space like that. What a like, what a surprise, like wow factor. I'm 
morning workout. Here we go. Slide it right in. So you can see right here, this is where the old header was. And now we've actually been able to recess the whole thing up into the ceiling. That'll carry the entire load of the roof. We got Paxos here doing all of our electric. Anything that's got a switch or a bulb, they're taking care of. I love this picture of the Spencer kids, Levi, Ruby, Shane. But you don't have to have it up here just to cover a hole. I got a better option. 3M large hole repair. It's very important that you get a good connection between the backing and the wall because the next step is to fill all of this with compound and then we're gonna sand over paint and it's gonna disappear. So we now have a space that can be considered a bathroom. We have barrier-free, waterproof floors with all of our Schluter and our Dietra system. So the tile job on Levi's bathroom is so big that we had to bring in our George Rescue alum, Matt Wendorf here. So what do we got right here? So this is Tile Buddy. It's the best way to support and finish around any toilet flange. So this makes your job faster, easier, stronger, and better. And even with crazy mosaics, which this stuff is beautiful, yeah. by the way. Oh yeah, all of our tiles came from Standard Tile, right down the street here in Roxbury. Oh, hey, what's up? Studio 18 is here. So what is the plan? What are we creating on this wall? So we are doing a type of graphic mural. Yes, lots of angles, lots of taping, lots of super sharp paint lines. Yes. We don't want any seepage or any of that. So I got the right tape for the job. Uh, the green right here, this is for your floors or your baseboard. And then this is for your walls. Everything is going great at the Spencer house, but it's not just about rescuing their house. I got something special up my sleeve. Today we are at Camp Woodward, which is so much more than a giant skate park. It is actually the largest action sports camp in the world. We brought the Spencer family here. I'm just really pumped to introduce them to Aaron Wheels Fotheringham, who is a wheelchair extreme athlete. He basically takes tricks that you would do on a skateboard or on a BMX, and he does it in his wheelchair. You know, being born with spina bifida, a lot of my childhood was spent in hospitals. I've had 21 surgeries. I just hope that I'm able to, you know, help Levi see that he can do anything, and I feel like he's already got that drive in himself. Dang it, bro! <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that's how wheel started. I think it's a great experience for Levi to meet new people and especially mentors like Aaron and George. It's great, it's very inspirational, somebody to look up to, somebody that's went before him and can show him the ropes a little bit. <laughs> there's anything I can say to, you know, Levi and his family is to just, you know, keep pursuing those dreams and to, you know, always just stay positive and keep being awesome. I could stay here all week, but uh, somebody's got to finish up the Spencer house so they can come home. So I'm going to get back to the house, get everything buttoned up so they can come home. Take care, George. <laughs> I'm liking these cannonballs. Yeah. yeah. Since Levi has this amazing upper body strength, we're gonna do some sort of crazy apparatus in the bedroom space so that when he's in there hanging out with his brother, he can just, you know, monkey around. I mean, this thing is insane. Where'd you find this thing? Let me kids. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna get one, maybe two for my house. <laughs> one for me, one for the kids, you know? <laughs> Hey, Brittany, the guys from John Earl Woodworking just dropped this off. Hey, what nice are we... stair. That's yeah. Levi's stairs. It looks beautiful, but are we going to paint it, stain it, leave it raw? We are going to be staining the top of this to match the bed. And just to open it up a little bit to take the stain, you got the 3M sanding sheets. These are nice because they're super flexible. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. And sanding technique, left to right, round and round. I mean, Mr. Miyagi said, you know, <laughs> wax on, wax off, you know, uh, circles. 
So we've got the cabinetry for Levi's space. Perfect. So the bathroom needs to be fun. It's a kid's bathroom. It has to be definitely wheelchair accessible for him. So we're going to incorporate some of the family's traditional styles, but we're going to do some fun things with like some, maybe some uh, shower curtains with some superhero kind of things on it. Lots of plumbing in here. Um, Hans Groey brought in this really cool smart technology plumbing. This is like the set it and forget it of plumbing. So you just set the temperature here and then Levi can just manually operate it super oh. easy. Talk about blowing it out of the water. I mean, this is, it's got so much going on. It feels 20 times bigger than it actually is. Bridge Media hooked us up. She can come in, flip a switch, hook up her laptop. It's just gonna benefit her and eventually her family. There. I don't know what magazine this is gonna end up in, <laughs> but uh. Strike a pose there, man. Yikes! <laughs> okay. You know, this whole wall I love, especially the cornice and how it kind of, the window treatment, it, it just, it fits perfectly. Yeah. The window treatments came in from Fabric Tech Designs. Check this out. Levi can just hit a button yep. here. And up they go. Up they go. For me to work on this rescue was awesome. I mean, I was able to help them a lot, meet a lot of new people. I can't wait to see the reactions. I hope they're blown away. Brittany, I love the way this whole bathroom, this whole space, yeah, everything awesome. came together. Totally coming together. And uh, just, you know, one last little thing. You. Picture with me and Levi from our trip to, awesome. to Woodward. This is a special moment between you and him that a good, right. good reminder you to put. Right there? Perfect. I really am overjoyed that I am able to give back to somebody who has a need, but not only somebody, a family that I love wholeheartedly because of who they've been in my own personal life. I was able to pour back into their life. Take a look. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at the logo, Shane. Walking into my studio was amazing. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Go ahead. <Yeah. in. laughs> I can't believe it. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's light, it's open, it's airy, it's refreshing. There's a coffee bar. <laughs> <laughs> the birthplace of supermodel Ruby Spencer right here. Cue strike pose. You're pro. <laughs> you guys want to see what else we did? Yes. Mom, Dad, you guys yes. ready? Yeah, Let's absolutely. Go. All right. Wow. <gasps> oh, Batman. my Let's goodness. Go. Ready to transform your space with a new color? Make sure you have the essentials to pull off a better paint job. Look for 3M's Patch Plus Primer, Pro-Grade Precision Sanding Sheets and Sponges, and Scotch Blue Painter's Tape at a retailer near you. Go to 3M.com. Mom, Dad, you guys yes, ready? Yeah, absolutely. All right, and there we go. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh Batman, my goodness. Up. Is here. this your room? I don't believe it. You got a gym in your room. Look at that. I was definitely surprised coming into the boys' room. The theme is perfect with the heroes and the jungle gym, and I think it's going to bring a whole new level of fun for the kids. Levi, look! I saw you at Camp Woodward. I know that you're an active guy, and so I figured this could be your training course. That yeah. is cool. It seems like every time we turn around in this room, you see a new little detail. It's got everything that a little boy would love. I tried it out all right, guys, so you don't have to worry. If Not it can me. handle my way, it can handle yours. It's quite a room, I have to say. <laughs> oh my goodness, did you see that, Jay? The stairs. Do all your homework. The stairs and the changing table are going to be a huge game changer in our daily life and routine. Levi can help me. I don't have to pick him up. How did you get up there? Huh? Did you fly? You guys want to see the bathroom? What was right here before? Oh, man. Is there a wall right there? Come closer. <gasps> oh, my God. It's huge. Yeah. Can you even believe it? What's that over there, Shaner? <laughs> Shower. <gasps> wow. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Boom. 
Look at that, Levi. What? what? The new bathroom layout and the location is just ideal. It's right off of his bedroom. The bathroom is, is bright, you know, wide open, lots of space for Levi to get in in his wheelchair. It's going to be a great bathroom for him. And you have you a whole think? media center right here so that you can <gasps> fold what? down so you can watch. So you, you, know, you can put a, uh, like an right iPad here. or something on here. What Pretty cool, think? huh? That's neat. I think Levi's going to find a lot of independence in this room, the space, his bedroom, and the bathroom. He's going to be able to do a lot of things on his own, and I think that's really going to build confidence and character for him. I know here in Roxbury, the Spencer family really needs no introduction, but uh, here they are. <laughs> so many people came out to do what they could, uh, starting with John and with Brittany. Uh, you guys rock, and I really appreciate it. I think the whole experience of George to the Rescue has brought us closer together. It's just made us think about community in a different way and helping each other. The kindness that we feel from people, the love that has been shown to us, is an astounding kind of feeling. It, it takes your breath away a little bit. We will uh, talk about this for years to come and reflect your kindness, your love to us, uh, into the lives of others, into this community of Roxbury. So thanks a lot, everybody. I love you, Bill.